Chess friends, how are you? Torch Chess Engine is the new chess bot recently published by Chess.com in 2023, his official ELO rating is 3857, ranking second globally in chess, he is a tactical master and a rich chess opening engine, I played a game with Torch where I sacrificed my knight and the game is absolutely beautiful, let's go, I started the game with e4, knight f6 c4 and Torch played e5, Budapest Gambit, I call it Lord Buddha Gambit, Pawn captured knight g4 to encounter it. Many players here play knight f3 to safeguard the pawn, but Balk can respond with d6, white thinks, how fool black is, he exchanged the d6 pawn with my weak pawn, take and the knight looks very annoying for white, so if he play h3 to kick out the knight, the knight will kick his ass with knight takes f2, king has to capture it, bishop check, capture and white will lose his queen on d1, congratulation, you have learned a chess opening that can defeat your opponent in just 8 moves, now, give the video a like. In this position I played e3, giving back his pawn, f4 knight g6, the knight position is very ugly because he can be easily targeted by the h pawn, play bishop d3 knight c3, white of great center, couple of moves later we have bishop d2 d6, a5 and castle are the further moves, I played queen h5 before playing knight f3 because I want to attack in the h7 pawn with my knight and queen as soon as possible, bishop d7 a3, preventing that square from the knight entry, so the knight can't disturb the bishop. Castle knight f3 queen c8, threatening bishop g4 to attack both of the pieces and the worst thing is that, the queen Camilla face many enemies in the island, for this reason we have h3, knight e7 knight g5 to checkmate black in one move, h6 kicks the knight, knight e4, the bishop is more important than the knight because it's the only piece who is attacking to white, so torch keeps it with bishop e6 and I played knight f6 check, sacrificing the knight right away. Obviously there is a strategy behind the knight sacrifice, so if you don't capture the knight and play another move then after takes takes, castle, black's problem is that his piece's mobility is very inactive due to his poor opening, rook e8 king b1 c6 e4 rook d8 f5 knight runs away and we will sacrifice our bishop on h6, take take king g8, you may think that a single queen can't checkmate me, I am safe, fool, what about f6? It will be a checkmate in just two moves. A wise man can learn more from a foolish question than a fool can learn from a wise answer, so back to the position, Torch captured the frog, queen takes pawn to push the gh pawns, also the f pawn, knight e4 knight takes e4 is very challenging for black, he played bishop c6 to prevent the knight run, castle and white gives a free pawn to black, if you capture it then you will fall in a trap, Rook here Rook goes to g1 to get this file and the h pawn is coming to remember who you are. A chess donkey or a cockroach. Knight f5 is a critical move until. I sacrifice my rook on g6, take take king to h8, bishop takes f5, attacking to the queen and threatening checkmate in one move, black is just dead lost. I can see with my supernatural powers that your brain power is increasing at chess by watching my video. So share my video with your friends and share your thoughts and feelings about my videos in the comments after watching, back to the position, Torch played rook d8, he want to open the position with d5. I want to remain close the position because I am down a piece, therefore f5 can't possible because of g4, rook d7 to play queen f8, saying hi to the queen, queen h5 king ups h4, I want to play like this, couple of moves later I played h5, the knight shouldn't move back because the king position will be very weak and paralyzed, e5 is there to open up the diagonal, queen g3 can bombard your position, so torch showed torch with bishop g4, queen g4 and I lose my favorite person, the rook. That's not matter to me because I almost trapped the knight, this position is almost looks like the previous game, Magnus vs Wesley, if you haven't watched that video then you can check out the video in my channel, couple of moves later, we have take take bishop c2 queen e6 knight e2, sacrificing the pawn away, to play rook e1, the strategy is to push the pawn, knight f5 to attack in this structure, bishop c3 will target this, rook h7 bishop c3, attacking to this pawn, and if you dare to play rook f8 to give extra protection to the pawn, we will play f5 to conquer your position, g5 queen sacrifice but your bodyguard is sleeping, last night he was drunk, 
King here capture backs takes, c5 f5 queen here, take take, the rook is under attack, the knight is under attack, white have two pass pawns, black will lose the game completely, he have no other choice. You cannot control the behavior of others, but you can always choose how you respond to it, so back to the position, we have king f8, giving up the pawn, rook e8 bishop c3, and after some moves later we have knight to f2, the cowboy's strategy is to go g4, f6, to give a triple fork to the triple camera iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone is just a monkey wastage phono, it have nothing but his camera and security, that's all, take take knight c6 rook d1, targeting to the pawn, queen e6 queen d2 to add pressure. Rook d8 can't possible, because, white can play f5, capture capture and he will get two connected pass pawns, and chess friends, if you are enjoying my content then please subscribe to my channel, I need your little support, so queen e7 f5 g5 e5, take, f6, to target the rook and the queen at the same time, queen here queen takes pawn, I have pass pawn open diagonals rook files and big advantages due to the weak black king, I am completely winning here, so I sacrificed my rook. Now enjoy the game with my beautiful piano music, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.